Thank you very much indeed. Oh, boy. Well, we have a wonderful script this morning. Eight new sponsors. When the revolution comes, Mr. Graves, the first blow struck will be against radio programs that mention more than 25 sponsors during the first 10 minutes. Did you drop some flog in this cup? No, but then I didn't think of it. Why, what do you mean? That's McKeister's Vitafresh, one of our own products. I know. We're going to be arrested yet for hustling this laundry juice. Say, what happened to that fellow? Remember the... <laughs> Remember the fellow tried that breakfast food we recommended? Is his widow still kicking up a fuss? No, we're okay there, I think. We gave her two tickets to the Doodles Weaver show. Uh, you can't kid me. With all this muck we're peddling, Mrs. Gruesome and I are going to end up in an electric love seat yet. Who are the new chumps? Well, we have Primoff's pre-shrunk Piccadilly. Pre-shrunk by whom? They wash it first in alum, stupid. If you don't mind, I wasn't speaking to you. Now listen, blubberhead. Please, kids, not today. You promised me. Well, then tell him to keep his big bazoo shut. I ask for very little on this program, simply that Mrs. Gladwin dropped dead. I've told you You've got now. to stop it. I tell you, I can't stand it any longer. If you've got to fight, fight at home, not here. We can't fight at home. We don't speak there. Say one thing about our marriage. If there's such a thing as an unjackpot, I've hit it. I can't understand you two. With the best Mr. and Mrs. program on the air, paying you 5,000 bucks a week, why can't you figure out a way to get along together? Why, if it ever got out to the papers the way you fight this Who's problem... Who's the next on the list? Next, we have Twombly's Miracle Skin Food. For those hungry little paws. It's the customary way. I don't know how other people feel about it, but my paws are going to eat exactly what the rest of me eats. I don't care if they're starving. I am not... May we have the next one? Next, we've got Pasternax factory-tested Pussy Willow mattresses. Know them well? They're stuffed with cat hair. They're the kind they hang on walls in insane asylums. And don't you say it. Don't say what? I don't know what on earth you're talking about. You were trying to make a I wasn't going to say. Yes, I didn't were. say anything. Say oh, it's all about your... where I came from. Ramona, my dear, he never opened his mouth. Well, he was going to. I know him. He never muffed a line like that in his life. He never misses an opportunity. <laughs> Who's dead? This is more like it. Oh, what's it say? <laughs> like sweet bells across the countryside at twilight. This is dreadful. You'll have to get remarried at once. I mean it. This is a Mr. and Mrs. program. You may not be happy, but by God, for you're supposed to be married anyway. Go away, little man. Go away. This news has unseated this poor fellow's reason. <laughs> I'll have to see Mr. Twitchell about this immediately. What a glorious day it is, to be sure. If there were birds this high, they'd be singing away like a choir of Mario Lanzas. Gladwin. Yes, Mr. Twitchell? Let's get organized here. What is all this nonsense about you not wanting to get married again? Well, it's true, sir. Heaven has finally blessed our union with a little annulment. Well, I'm afraid you'll have to skip it this time. We've got a nice setup here, and if you're not married, we're cooked. They'd laugh us off the air if our all-American couple blew a gasket in the middle of the wheat cakes. Check on a church or something for these people to get married again right away. Congratulations, folks. Just a minute there. Yes? You're a little ahead of yourself, Mr. Twitchell. We're not getting married again. Why not? Because Mrs. Gladwin and I have built too many of our hopes on this day to have our happiness destroyed with the wave of a hand. In addition to which, I can't stand him. What were you two doing before we put this little bundle together? Well, I was a news commentator with a small but highly regarded program, The News Behind the News Behind the News. 200 a week tops. And you? I was the blueberry muffin girl on WHAM. One and a quarter at the outside. And what are you getting here? Five thousand a week. See what I mean? You've forgotten one thing, haven't you, Mr. Twitchell? What's that? The contract. 
What contract? A contract dated April 18th for five straight years at five G's a week, drawn up by the United States Broadcasting Company and signed by Mr. and Mrs. That's it. Now, I'll give you until noon to make up your minds what you want to do next. You rockhead. Now, just a minute. You certainly handled that one like a champion. So why didn't you take over? You're so smart. You mean stamp in front of Mr. Brains himself? Yes, this is a free country. We have free speech here. No one was holding his hand over your mouth. Steve, please, we're off. Now, you keep out of this. Who insisted that we sign that contract, Mr. and Mrs.? I told you then we should sign it individually. I told what you... What do you mean I insisted upon signing it, Mr. and Mrs.? It was your lawyer, that crook friend of yours who told me what to do. I told you then it was absolutely ridiculous. Fancy. This ex Moriarty is not a crook. He's a very highly regarded Harvard man and also one of the biggest mouthpieces in New York. You're oh. on, honey. Holy Moses. <laughs> Nine o'clock, and a good good morning to all America from that all-American couple, the Glad Gladwins, from their cozy little nest in the metropolis of dreams. As American as mince pie and sugar cookies, Steve and Ramona Gladwin bring you at this hour, every morning, their own daily bag of fun, gossip, and helpful hints, the latest from the wonder world of New York. So settle back for 15 minutes of relaxation and diversion while we take you... To the homey little <laughs> breakfast table of Steve and Ramona Gladwin. Good morning, darling. Good morning, Angel. Oh, but you look so rested this wonderful morning, sweetheart. Yes, thanks to our luscious Pastanac factory-tested Pussy Willow mattress. The mattress that takes all of the guesswork out of sleeping. So soft, so restful. And only seventeen fifty at Muck and Fuss Brothers. Yes, only the hearts of the tender Pussy Willows are used. Breakfast ready, McCushler? Yes, Papa Mia. Here's your coffee. Thank you, doll. Ah, uh, what coffee. What aromatic fragrance. It must be... You're right, love. I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> yes, it's McKeister's Vitafresh Coffee. The coffee with that locked-up goodness for everybody. Grind or drip. Quick, Precious, another cup. There you are. <laughs> uh... Peach Fuzz, you've spilled some on your vest. Oh, goody. Now I can try some of that little panther spot remover. No harsh rubbing. Just spray a little panther on your vest and watch it eat the spot out. And imagine, darling, a big two-ounce bottle for only three dollars. Or, if you are a messy eater, there's the handy, economical 40-gallon vat. Oh, darling, what juicy gossip I have for our listeners this morning. Stop, Ramona. Don't you dare move, Ramona. But, darling... What have you done to your hair? That sheen, that brilliance. Why, I did just what so many society women are doing these days. I went to Madame Yvonne's hairdo heaven. It is divine. Your head looks like the back of a bunny. Madame Yvonne uses a sensational hairdressing. It contains that new mystery ingredient, chicken fat. Chicken fat? Ah, our canary, little Yasha. My, but doesn't little Yasha sound glorious this morning? And I bet I just know what he's saying, too. Little Yasha is saying, thanks. Gee willikers, mumsy and dadsy. Thanks for feeding me that swell Dr. Gruber's three-way bird seed that comes in 15 and 25 cent packages, tailored to fit the beak. And what a happy little birdkin he is, to be sure. And why not, sugar? Yasha knows that the paper on the bottom of his cage is New York's leading daily, The Morning Record. The Morning Record has 32 columnists, 28 pages of comics, and no news. Oh, excuse me, Apple Honey. I have a letter here from Mrs. T.S. Button of Moth Holes, Idaho. Mrs. Button had a splitting headache for 40 years until she heard of Pepso Bepso on our program. Only Pepto Bepto is guaranteed to fizz twice. Once before you drink it, and once after. Good morning, Mumsy and Dadsy. Why, it's our little three-year-old daughter, Irene. Irene, pet, I love the way your tooth is shining this morning. Yes, I brushed it with Dr. Pratt's homogenized toothpaste. And what does Dr. Pratt's toothpaste do, baby? Dr. Pratt's homogenized...
such a nice toothpaste, gets into your mouth, rolls up its sleeves, and really does a job on your filthy old fangs. Isn't she 